midterm elections are just weeks away, and one of the biggest races here in Michigan is for U.S. Senate. Challenging incumbent Democrat Debbie Stabenow is John James, and he's going where few in his party have gone before, at least lately, in search of support. Fox's Leland Bittert explains. Well, I grew up in these neighborhoods. So now, John James is back in his time. Michigan neighborhood knocking and on we, we doors. As an African American Republican running for U.S. Senate. My name is John James. A site retired school teacher Cheryl Wright never thought she would see. There's a sense of pride, but if I vote for him and I'm and I'm seriously considering it, um, it would not be because he's African American. We have similar values. The latest Real Clear Politics poll average shows James has a steep climb ahead of him to catch incumbent Democrat Debbie Stabenow. In 2012, she received 94% of the African American vote. What's your sales pitch? Specifically, Debbie Stabenow has failed these neighborhoods by failing to listen. One thing we need is make sure that we have greater opportunities for our children, early childhood development. African American business leaders spoke to the same issues during a press conference at the trucking and logistics company his father started and James Jr. now runs. Pedigree referenced by a Michigan Democrat who tweeted that James just mooched off his father, who mooched off his father. James responded, I'm a West Point grad and a rock vet with two masters. My dad, Vietnam vet and entrepreneur. His dad, Mason. His dad, sharecropper. His dad, slave. Stabenow turned down our request for an interview, but pointed us to Detroit NAACP Chairman Reverend Wendell Anthony. I don't think you're going to find an overwhelming number of folk, uh, African Americans in particular, uh, carrying up the flag for John James. I mean, he's, he has wrapped himself uh, in a flag of Donald Trump. President Trump won Michigan by roughly 10,000 votes, helped by low turnout from urban African-American communities like this one. Democratic organizers say this time around, anger at President Trump is going to push people who live here to the polls. But James is counting on a lot of them coming out for him. In Detroit, Leland Vittert, Fox News.